I'm Rob Hawkins from Car Mechanics Magazine and this is Mark Shipman from AES New York. Mark helps us with a lot of features in the magazine, um, namely the uh, electronic diagnostics and the service bay. Um, and what I've asked Mark a few weeks ago was to, to test a, a particular product from Top Don. It's an infrared camera to see whether or not it's any use and see what it, he, he can actually use it for within the workshop. Mm -hmm. um, now, to my way of thinking, Mark, an infrared camera, I've, I've, I've used infrared thermometers before for, yeah. for maybe checking brakes to see mm -hmm. which ones are hot, to check in an inlet manifold where I might have a misfire and yeah. only one track is, is, um, isn't, isn't working properly. Yeah. In your experience with checking temperatures, should we say, what, what else would you look for? Um, all them things. Um, we can do sticking brakes. Mm -hmm that brake would be hotter than the other three. Yep. Um, so if you've got a squeaky brake, maybe you could check that. Uh, the misfire, like you say, your mm -hmm. branch of your manifold would be a lot hotter mm -hmm. if you had a misfire on that cylinder. Um, heated rear windows, we use it for. Ah, yes. You can see if that's working, which, which track's broken. Mm -hmm. um, do tend to find the modern cars switch the window off if there's a track broken, though. Mm. So you lose it all. Uh, heated seats. Yes, I never thought. Um, yeah. See if that's working. What we mainly use it for is current drains. Mm -hmm. Um, leave the car overnight with the battery support on it. Come in the next morning, you can see which circuit's warm with this. Uh, so if there's a relay that's sticking in, mm -hmm. the fuse for that circuit's generally a little bit warmer mm. than the others. Mm. Um, so it can speed your diagnosis up. Mm, that's um, useful stuff. Yeah, rapidly you can see right. which circuit has been kept, mm. kept on. Right, let's get it, put this to test, shall we? Should we get a car in? Let's Definitely, look. yeah, yeah. Okay, right, so here we are at the car. This is in fact an old project car from Car Mechanics Magazine. Um, and I've opened up the um, thermal imaging program on this uh, the device. Let's just get it rolling here. And you can see straight away on the screen, when I hover it over the engine bay, I can see what's warm and what's cold, and it's giving me a temperature reading for the center. So as I move around, I can also take photographs of what I'm seeing just at the click of a mm -hmm. button. But I can analyse everything, and I guess, Mark, from this angle here, I can see if there's any problems. You can. Um, you can, can see coolant pipes. Yeah. Where they're getting hot, so you'll know whether your thermostat's opening. Mm -hmm. Find where your thermostat is. Uh, put that on it. Warm your engine up. Mm. See if your thermostat's opening. Um, you can see circulation. That's the return. Yes. From technically the back of the water pump. Mm -hmm. So if that's warm while you're revving the engine, you know mm. that there's coolant returning. Your water pump's probably mm. working. Um, various things. I guess um, fuel pipes. One, Fuel pipes again, it. yeah, yeah. The, the return mm -hmm. should be hotter than the supplies because right. it's been compressed. Yeah, and then we turn back. Um, various things, radiators, yeah. yes. see whether they're blocked. If you yeah, get so that you've got deep hot into spots. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I guess with that, if I, if I could access a bit more of the radiator, yeah, yeah, pop, pop your grill off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very useful. And then see too. if it's blocked up, yeah, yeah. with silt, for yeah. instance, or something else. Yeah. Um, you're talking about wiring as well. I guess yeah. I could look at to see if there's a, there's a major drain on it, or you um, could. Um, as we've said previously, we use it mainly for that. Put your battery yeah. support on overnight. Mm -hmm. um, we've come in the next morning, the alternator looks like it's glowing. Mm. It's had a short all night. Mm. Instead of draining your battery, your battery support's picked it up. See it very clearly on that, mm -hmm. that it's warm, yet it's not been ran for 12, 15 yep. hours. So a useful bit of kit. Yeah, it just useful confirms your diagnosis, here. saves you time. Yeah. Now, I guess the, between, the difference between something like this, for example, and just using an infrared thermometer is you can actually yep. see specific things. You You're can. not just pointing at stuff, Yeah, yeah. Um, as such. There's an awful lot of features here. You there can is. take photographs, you can take video, mm -hmm. there's a lot of data logging. Um, retail price, we're looking at around about £500 for this. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a fairly steep price if you mm -hmm. look at the DIY market, but for yeah. professionals, would you say it's... I, I wouldn't be without the one we use. Mm. Um, this compares identically to that, mm. and we paid a lot more for that. Right. So it's a very good tool. Mm -hmm. So there we have it from Car Mechanics Magazine, uh, a review of Top Don's uh, infrared camera. If you want to know more about it or you're uh, interested in buying one, by all means have a look at the description tags um, in the video. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next review.